Hello YouTube gardeners. This week at Southern California Gardening, we are ready for tomato season. I love tomatoes so much that we started them in the greenhouse several months ago to get a jump on the growing season and an early harvest. This big, beautiful husky cherry tomato plant was growing in the greenhouse for several months and just got transplanted outside just the other day. Unfortunately, one of the big branches broke off while moving it, but as you can see here, the plant is big and beautiful. We could hardly tell that the big branch is missing and it's still setting in lots of cherry tomatoes. We prepared this raised bed with Edna's Best Soil, some Harvest Supreme Age Compost, and some Dr. Earth Fertilizer Mix. And you could see here, this is one happy tomato plant. We have so many delicious, fun varieties growing in the greenhouse. These right here were started on 318. Look how fast they grow. They're just three weeks old. And today we're getting more seeded. So if you love tomatoes, hit the subscribe button. We'll be sharing seed packet information on so many great varieties like this Black Beauty from Baker Creek Rare Seeds. This tomato is the world's darkest tomato. Rare Seeds has a great video on their YouTube channel. Check it out. I can't wait to see this beautiful tomato grow. It is rich in anthocyanins, a powerful antioxidant compound. And if you've seen our recent videos, you know we are on a quest to grow foods rich in anthocyanins for the amazing health benefits that these plants have to offer. Plus they are absolutely beautiful with their dark purple and dark blue hues. Look at this picture from rareseeds.com. Here is another picture. Very excited to be growing these guys this season. I'm also excited to have another option for seeds. I got some heirloom tomatoes from the Rustic Garden this year. Check out their store. Lots of great seed varieties. And I'm such a sucker for interesting names. So I'm excited to try these Pink Ox Hearts and the Arkansas Traveler and Homestead from the Rustic Garden. Check them out. What are some of your favorite tomato varieties that you'll be growing? So growing tomatoes is very easy, but there are some tricks to growing healthy plants and big delicious fruit. Here are seven handy tips to making sure that your young tomato plants get a healthy start. First handy tip is we keep our young tomato plants warm. If the temperatures are too low, the plants will get stressed out and not do well. So we're gonna keep these young guys warm and cozy in the greenhouse until the nighttime lows raise closer to 50 degrees and above. Tomato plants love lots of sun. Over the years, we have planted many tomato plants in many different locations all around our edible landscape. And any area that was in partial shade, we avoid. They seem to always do poor when they don't get plenty of sun. These baby tomato starts are going to get bumped up into their own container in a couple days and then in a couple of weeks, they're going to get moved out into their permanent growing location. And at this point, we will move them outside a couple of hours a day to acclimate them to the outside environment. This is their transition step to keeping them from getting stressed out from the change in environment from living in the greenhouse. So we also make sure that the plants have the nutrients they need for healthy growth. Purple leaves indicate a nutrient deficiency. You can see here, it's time for these guys to get watered with a diluted water-soluble fertilizer mix. Also, a calcium deficiency can be a big problem, causing fruit not to develop properly, which results in blossom end rot. So we use a Dr. Earth fertilizer mix. It has all the calcium our plants will need 
to develop big, delicious tomatoes. When planting the tomato plant, we bury the plant about halfway down in the soil or more. The tomato plants can develop roots on their stems called adventitious roots. They look like little bumps on the stems and when buried in the soil, these little bumps start forming roots. So burying the plant promotes a stronger, more stable, healthy plant. We remove the leaves that are near the soil as the plant grows. This will help in reducing the bacteria from bouncing from the soil to the plant, causing bacterial problems in the plant that can affect the production down the road. When watering, we do deep, consistent watering, making sure that the plant doesn't dry out, but also that it doesn't stay too soggy. And if hand watering, watering in the morning hours is best. This allows time for the plant leaves to dry during the day. This can also help in reducing the risk of bacterial fungal problems down the road. We are constantly inspecting our plants for pests Pests can become out of control really quick if not kept in check. So watering with a compost tea once a week helps the plant to stay strong and healthy and not as vulnerable to pests. And throughout the week, I will just come into one of the little containers. You can see here, find some aphids, just rub them out, flip it over. Usually they're laying their eggs under the leaves. Just gently rub off the eggs and the aphids. Here's another one. And this keeps them from multiplying rapidly and wiping out your little starts. Now as the season progresses, there's lots of other pests like spider mites, tomato hornworm, and these guys can really devastate your tomato plants that you've been working hard at growing and keeping healthy. So keeping an eye on them, removing the worms, making sure that your plants stay healthy gives them the best chance at producing big, beautiful tomatoes. And we have many more handy tips to share as the growing season progresses. So hit the subscribe button. Now I'm going to get these beautiful Black Beauties planted in some Edna's Best soil with beneficial microbes. I'm going to be sprinkling some Dr. Earth in the cells. Place a couple seeds on each side of the cell for double capacity and get them watered and under the grow lamp and in the greenhouse. All right, that's it for now. For more short videos on how to grow food in Southern California, hit the subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoy your week and enjoy your garden.